and you can see now it's downloading the content. It's basically building that website right now as we wait. And it only takes a few seconds, and now it's finished. And if we click Next, it's just going to say, Congratulations, all of your web pages have been created successfully. Now it's time to convert your content into cash. That's the concept of VRE, isn't it? So, if we look in that output folder, you will see that it has built that site right here. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to do, just depending on how you how you built your site, how you use these templates. If you if you read the README file, then you will realize that if we hadn't uh, done some certain hard coding, then we also need to move a couple things over. Uh, specifically, the add.html file, which goes in the in iframe, that's a part of the template, unless you remove that iframe. And there's a separate video about that if you don't know what I'm talking about. So that would need to go into your output folder as well. Additionally, it would need to go into each of the subdirectories. Okay? Because this, uh, these PHP files are going to have a place in it that calls for this add file. Okay? And then lastly, the images directory would need to go there too. So we need to put the images directory in the root directory because, of course, this index file is going to be calling for the header and any other images that we might be using. And then paste that images directory into any of the subdirectories as well. Okay. Now, there is an alternative to that. Again, to understand it, read the readme file. But what that would be would be to hard code the address to each of the image files into the template file. So say you happen to know ahead of time what domain this is going to be going on to. Say it's ericsbicycles.com. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. Okay, so this, the header file, it's looking for the header file in the local images directory forward slash header dot jpg. So, if we wanted to avoid having to put the images directory into each of the subdirectory of the generated Hyper VRE site, we could go ahead and hard code the absolute address to the image. Okay, so for example, let's say I happen to know that this was going to go on a website called ericsbikes.com. I would just simply hard code ericsbikes.com forward slash images forward slash header dot jpg. That way the only thing I would have to do is make sure I upload the images directory to my domain when I go ahead and upload the hyper VRE, hyper VRE site. I wouldn't have to upload it. I wouldn't have to put it into each subdirectory individually. I hope that makes sense. If not, you know, just copy what I did on here and uh, you'll figure it out. It's really not that difficult. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, how to use Hyper-VRE. Let's go ahead and upload the site real quick so you can take a real quick look at what I built in this demo. Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded that real quick using uh, Smart FTP. And so let's open up that website in a browser. And as you can see, it built the site quite well. Um, in fact, this is kind of interesting to note because this uh, the domain that I uploaded it to uh, has absolutely nothing to do with bicycles. Um, I didn't use a subdomain or any keywords in the URL that have bicycle in it at all, but it's already picking up the correct uh, topic here for these contextual AdSense ads um, because the keywords within the page knows to show ads about bikes. That doesn't always happen right away, so if, yours, if it takes a while for you know Google to spider your site and figure out what, t what kind of ads to show, don't worry about it, but uh, sometimes it picks them up right away. So we've got ads here about bikes. Over here in the site navigation, you can see this. these are actually link units. Uh, the first uh, looks like five are AdSense ad link units. And then these right here are links to interior pages within this Hyper-VRE site. So we've blended it perfectly into this navigation here. Um, again, we've got bike ads here along this side. We've got uh, links to these articles. Remember those articles that we did the, the, uh, the bulk upload uh, for the Hyper-VRE articles, and those are showing up here. We've got article snippets, 
Um, these are going to rotate randomly if we refresh this page. We've got that iframe here, and again, that's that add.html file, so we can change that, put anything in there. Um, but as you can see, I used the magic add tool when I created that, and so it's pulling up contextual ads from uh, Commission Junction. Actually, not contextual ads, but it's topical based on, uh, based on the, the keywords that I used. And then uh, we've got an RSS feed here that's pulling up uh, bike-related news, so it's not completely targeted. This looks kind of like uh, motorcycle-related as well, but nevertheless, it's fresh content that's going to keep the site uh, from, from, from getting stale. And again, more bike ads down here, and of course, we can navigate around this website and... Uh, and as you can see, we've got uh, rotating definitions here. Uh, we've got articles, um, obviously more ads. You've got the um, more RSS feeds integrated, more article snippets, more news, RSS feeds. Uh, move this up a little here. You can see where it says copyright 2006 by Eric's Bikes. It takes that, you know, the site title and inserts it there. So basically, I mean, as you can see, this is a nice little hyper VRE site that we built in a matter of um, just a few minutes. Oh, here's the uh, the contextual ads. So this is that uh, the Amazon uh, bicycle that I put in here. So if I clicked on this, it would take us to Amazon.com using my uh, Amazon affiliate link. So again, uh, that's a quick and easy way to build a piece of virtual real estate. And obviously, with a little more time invested into it, really the sky's the limit. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've certainly enjoyed creating it for you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.